Hey everybody, hey kids out there, wake up. It's a Wednesday mic talk, glad you guys are with me today. And uh, thank you for joining us here at the Song and Sword YouTube channel. And we're here every day. If you're brand new, this is your first time, somebody invited you. I know people do that all the time. I get comments all the time saying, I've invited my friends and my family that live in another state. And that's cool. We want to be a worldwide ministry. I want to encourage you all things Song and Sword today. Uh, I want to encourage you to stay tuned every day, to join me in the Word of God every day. It's a great habit. And uh, this week we're talking about faith, uh, continuing our trust uh, the, the T word for our, our strategy, trust, was Sunday. We trust Jesus as Lord and Savior. And then we continue to trust Him to be our Lord and our Savior all through that journey after we initially say yes. Um, but I want to encourage you all things Song and Sword. Go to songandsword.com. Uh, if you want to hear about membership, then just click that. What we have at the top banner there is together. So songandsword.com slash together. Or just hit the together button up there. And you can start your membership process and become a member even online. Uh, and you can also there, if you look at the top, you can, you can give and uh, you can donate. Hit that button up there and uh, you can give us a one-time gift or you can become a partner and keep giving all the time. Uh, your gifts are very important to help us do this ministry. It keeps us going literally to preach the gospel, the good news, every day through a small devotion. And then every week, uh, I was telling the congregation Sunday at the Chateau, um, 45 weeks in a row. Uh, there's been a sermon from the Word of God, a Word of God heavy sermon that relates to us uh, for everybody in the world to be a part of. And you're a part of that if you're supporting us. Thank you so much. Pray with us every day at 149. Set your alarms, set your clocks, and we'll pray for you if you text prayer to that number on the screen. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to the, the Word of God today. Matthew chapter 9. We're back in Matthew. We're going to stick uh, with this gospel for the next couple of days because we talk about faith. And I want to see a different angle of faith here. Matthew chapter 9 uh, verse 1 says, getting into a boat he crossed over and came to his own city. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so we're talking about Capernaum now. Jesus has come back across the lake and behold some people brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith he, he said to the paralytic, take heart my son your sins are forgiven. And behold some of the scribes said to themselves this man is blaspheming. But Jesus knowing their thoughts said, why do you think evil of your hearts? For which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven, or to say, rise and walk? But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins. He then said to the paralytic, rise, pick up your bed, and go home. And he rose and went home. And when the crowd saw it, they were afraid, and they were a glorified God who had given such authority to him. Authority is a key word there. Jesus has authority over everything. He has authority to forgive sins. He has authority to heal people. He is the Lord. And that's what the, the Pharisees, his opponents, um, his religious opponents in the first century just couldn't uh, wrap their minds around, that he would be God in the flesh. But indeed he was. And, and that's, not the, that's not the thought for the day. The thought for the day is the faith of the friends. Did you notice that? There's a lot of things to say about this. This healing is miraculous. This paralytic man who cannot walk literally picks up his bed, which is probably some kind of rolled up mat, and he heads home. That's the end of the story. Jesus has healed him and he can now walk. But I want you to see something really clear here. In verse 2, behold, some people brought to him a paralytic lying on a bed. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said to the paralytic. It was the faith of the friends of the paralytic that moved Jesus to healing. That's very important for us, those of us who have family members, friends, co-workers, teammates, uh, associates that we have partnered with or that we, neighbors that we hang out with, people that are in social places we go to all the time. There are people in our lives who are sick, who are paralyzed without Jesus. And what do we do? We pray for them. Did you know, I, I believe this is, the scripture teaches us that you can have faith for someone else. If you're a parent, you've ha you have faith for your kids. If you're a grandparent, you have faith for your grandkids. If you're a spouse of an unbelieving uh, spouse, you have faith for them. But what does that mean? It, it, listen, understand this very clearly. You cannot believe in somebody as Lord and Christ for someone else. That's a decision they have to make. They have to say, yes, I believe in Jesus Christ as Lord. But here's what I know. 
in the in the uh, the early stages of that belief, you can believe for someone else. I have believed many times for my kids and for my grandkids, for my friends, what they did not believe about Jesus, that he could heal them, that he could change them, that he could move in their life, that he cared about them, that he loves them. And so I've prayed accordingly. I've never picked someone up literally on a mat and carried them to Jesus, but I've carried people, I've carried my sons, I've carried my daughter-in-laws, I've carried my grandkids, I've carried you on a mat to Jesus asking Jesus to do what I believe he can do, and maybe the people around me or my friends or my family didn't believe. And what does that mean? That means that sometimes the faith of someone that's next to you or the faith you have on behalf of someone else can bring healing. We're not told about where this paralytic was. Whether he believed or not, we don't know. What we do know is that his friends carried him to Jesus and believed on his behalf. Don't stop believing uh, for your family and for your friends and for those people who don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Don't stop believing for their healing because the faith of the friends is what Jesus noticed here. And when he noticed their faith, he brought healing to the paralytic. I have to believe that the paralytic eventually believed in Jesus as Lord and Savior. We don't know. We're not told the story. But what we do know is the faith of his friends the belief in Jesus Christ, what they believed he could do for their friends was done. And I believe that still happens today. Believe for your friends and your loved ones because Jesus often heals through the faith of the friend. Love you guys. Have a happy Wednesday.